instantly Heberts on the move, but it's Fennick who gets it back for a first touch for Paul Barron. shadowing Bannister and Oxford get the throw John Truick number three actually scored here at Wembley for England schoolboys way back it's Charles his first touch ball out of play Kevin Brock thought otherwise but the linesman's flag was up it'll be a throw to Rangers certainly plenty to play for here today Byrne takes it on, and it'll be Phillips who gets it back, and now Judge has got the touch. £72,000 for the winners, £55,000 for the losers. They reckon that's the biggest team prize in British sport. And Jim Smith, the manager of Rangers, is the man who's looking for the winner's prize. Jim Smith handled all but one of the players in his time at Oxford. I think Ray Houghton is the only one that he didn't sign, the only one that Morris Evans has signed since he took over, who's actually on the field today. There's Houghton, he came from Fulham and was with West Ham before that. Kick on by Wicks. Little Phillips getting a bit of uh, leeway on it and in the end it was Brock who turned it away and into touch. Robinson again with a throw. Jeremy Charles right back there, marking uh, Wicks. That must be the biggest balloon you've ever seen at Wembley, Brian. Somebody will need to bust it because it keeps coming on. Well, it's Robinson with the throw then for Rangers. And a good long throw he's got. Wicks knocking it on. And in the end, it was Shotton. Uh, all hands to the pump there for Oxford. Shotton got it away. Martin Allen was just caught by Aldridge there as he uh, tried to make an interception. Charles launching himself at that one, but it's Robbie James who picks out Warren Neal. Bannister versus Shotton. They are getting to know each other in these opening 26 minutes. They've scarcely been more than a couple of yards apart. There they are again. Another free kick. this time. Charles is again ready to launch himself. But it was McDonald once more. Then there's Gary Briggs in there. Charles once more. And Rangers get it away through Martin Allen. Phillips. And at that time by McDonald. Allen again. Some good play by McDonald. Shot and planting it forward once more. Houghton hoping to get in behind McDonald. The big Irishman there again for QPR. Aldridge trying to get to this one first, and in the end, it's an Oxford throw. Again, there we have it. When the Rangers defenders have got the ball, especially the, the fullbacks, nobody's given, making angles for them to take the ball off them, you know. And all we're getting at the end is, you know, 
haphazard passes, and I mean balls like that are no use to to the front players. Because you've got, if you've got big defenders up there, you don't want it humped up in the air. And I think the, the Rangers certainly have got to start making angles and looking to, to play each other. It's in the touch again for an Oxford throw. And the game really cries out for a midfield player with a little bit of genius about him, you know, a Hoddle or a Sunez, you know, Brian Robson, that kind of player who can say, look, give us the ball and start knocking it around and, and make things happen. Another good jump by McDonald. Shot in his header. That might well be free kick, yes, to Queen's Park Rangers, a shove in the back by Charles, on Wicks. So big Steve Wicks. And by Phillips, Wicks again. chance to run, the track outside him, and with Aldridge and Charles up ahead of him, the plate in there for Aldridge, no penalty, the howls from Oxfordshire said, what about it ref, and that must have been touch and go, it was the first real Blake, and the first chance we've had of seeing Aldridge really on the move, a delightful ball played to him, I think it was my header. Yes, it was a super ball. I mean, he, he fooled everybody by playing it through the middle. And uh, the one thing about Aldridge, he didn't appeal for a penalty, and yet it looked to me as if he'd got his legs caught. That looked a penalty to me. Yes, it looked as if, uh, you know, the, the ball certainly, the defender certainly didn't get the ball. And not really a shot at goal, Brian, have we? No, we had that one moment when Aldridge was through, when he was pulled down, and when it looked very much like a penalty, which wasn't given. Held on to that too long, dispossessed by Martin Allen, and now John Byrne. Neil. And shot him away to Charles. Came off the back of McDonald. Aldridge trying to get in. Neil. McDonald. By way of a ricochet to Neil again. And the challenge by Schotten was unfair, it leaves Byrne writhing on the ground. Schotten's return to his position is intercepted by Keith Hackett, a quick word is passed and a free kick given to Rangers. Malcolm Schotten. Neil with the free kick. Bannister chested it down almost into the path of Byrne and Langan gets it back to keep a judge. Misled a few million people <laughs> in the last hour this afternoon. Well, no, we, we had high hopes, but uh, at the moment the game hasn't uh, lived up to our expectations. But I mean, there's a long way to go, and uh, we've seen many a second half that's been really exciting, haven't we, after the day first one? Yes, yeah, speak to an optimist. Well, let's see. Here's Hebert. Put free. He's turned his man well. Will he have a go? go! Say is low on confidence. 
confidence, but high on skill, has put Oxford into the lead, turned his man superbly, thought about the shot, and then found the spot between Barron and... The only goal of the first half as we now get the second half underway. Rangers in the hoops then, attacking the goal to our right, with a job to do. Bobby James. Fennick. And now Wicks. If they are to pull it around, what are the sort of things you'll be looking for from Rangers now then? Well, they've got to be more positive about going forward. And by that, I mean, not, instead of just kicking the ball aimlessly forward, Got to be playing it around and trying to get the ball in the box. Charles looking to get the better of Wicks. Three to Rangers. You know, I mean, they haven't created a chance, they haven't created a shooting chance or a heading chance. So obviously, you know, they can only get better. And I would think Jimmy would have given them a real, you know, rousing at half time. They must be annoyed at the way they're playing. There's McDonald for Rangers. Away, but it was a fairly optimistic ball through for Alan Judge.
Costa. Neil.
good serve. Warren Neal takes it in the end. Good jump by Gary Briggs. And burn. Jones. And it breaks again for Ray Hatton. Langan again making great strides outside him. Aldridge has gone off his man. And nevertheless, Phillips is coming through. Aldridge is there. Oh, what a miss! That would have been the end of Chris Park Rangers without any doubt. If the man who scored 29 this season had made the right sort of contact there. Ian? Well, I mean, it was absolutely superb move, you know, all the way down the right-hand side of the field, and, uh, you know, how he missed it, I don't know. He must have been thinking as it's coming well here. Yeah. Yeah. studio thought the first half was good, the best thing this is going to be a good Well, here's Hibbert. Flag up for offside. Free kick. Well, amazing uh, situation a moment ago with these two shots charged down here. Oh, well, I thought Aldridge has got to score first. Uh, but Jeremy was unlucky there, the ball coming back, you know. Off, I think, McDonald and uh, Wicks rather than Wicks again there. Tremendous stuff. Very brave. Janik to Rangers. McDonald to Robinson to Byrne. McDonald going it forward again. Happening quickly for Oxford. And out block. Phillips outside him. There's Liz Phillips. The little chip in. Again to the rescue for Queen's Park Rangers. And now the break is on for Rangers. John Byrne leading the charge. Robinson up alongside him, and on this side of the field is Gary Bannister. Still going through the middle, though. Byrne could be in trouble. Oh, no, he sidestepped his man well. Still with Byrne, trying to bring Bannister in now. Robinson and Rossini are waiting in the middle. It's deep towards Rossini. Up he goes, and a corner for Rangers. 
say if you shed a few tears of emotion watching the marathon runners this morning, I think you should shed maybe a couple for this bloke if he goes off the Wembley pitch for the sixth time as a loser, or at least uh, failing to win. Bannister gets it back. And McDonald couldn't quite turn it in. Three times Robinson came here with Liverpool for various events and didn't win. Twice with Brighton. And now with Queen's Park Rangers. Can be a cruel old sport sometimes, but he's giving it just about everything he's got. There's nothing Jim Smith, Frank Sibley on the left, can do about it at the moment. 2-0 down, QPR. With about 12 minutes remaining. Burn, brought down, but no foul. So Dawes says, OK, let me take it up. It's with Bannister. It's with Dawes. And Oxford for a moment looked to be in trouble. And Rangers just hadn't got the wit to make them pay for it.
seven minutes remaining. As we said, it wasn't that good, but they went in with a lot of conviction and, you know, won the early battles.
miracles happen. And a dream has come true.